Year after year, the Etosha National Park Nature Reserve attracts thousands of visitors. Approximately 22,000 square kilometers in size, the Etosha National Park represents a unique wildlife experience. Owing to increasing tourism, the Halali Camp, one of three camps in the extensive national park, was founded in 1967. However, tourism hasn't changed the character of the nature reserve. Today, it is one of the world's preeminent wildlife areas, protecting well over a hundred different mammal species. A protective 1700 kilometer long fence surrounds the park. Once the admission checkpoint and formal paperwork are left behind, the visitor enters a truly fascinating world. most prolific specimens are the first animals we meet on our safari. When it becomes too hot for them, they head for the shade of trees. The mostly arid terrain thirsts for a downpour of rain. Apart from the desert-like area of the Etosha salt pan, the park consists of Mopani woodland and savanna grassland, where a large variety of acacia trees can be found. The few and therefore precious waterholes represent an important and vital meeting place for many kinds of animals. However, these waterholes are also the ideal spot for humans to observe the animals in their natural habitat. The next animals we come across are the majestic four to five meter tall giraffes. Like other wild animals, the giraffes have their own method of protecting each other from possible attack by other animals. While one giraffe bends its neck down to the surface of the water to take a drink, one of its companions is always on guard for possible predators. Suddenly, the wind gets up, stirring up the dust and the tranquility of the waterhole. A 
large number of dusty gravel roads and paths lead through the vast regions of the Etosha National Park, making it an ideal place for a self-drive safari. The merciless heat that can reach temperatures well above 40 degrees Celsius makes animals of all shapes and sizes aim for the nearest water hole. We continue our safari through the never-ending savannah hoping for yet another exciting wildlife encounter. Close to 7,000 zebras can be found in this nature park. Normally, they live in families, their numbers varying between 5 and 20. One third of Etosha's 340 different bird varieties are European migratory birds. A visit to this vast wildlife refuge is more than just a vacation. It stimulates the senses and soul of the visitor and creates many colourful memories. Namibia's Etosha National Park offers several means of transportation. The tours range from individual jeep tours with an experienced guide and driver to larger, more comfortable buses. Acacia trees and bushes make up most of the scant vegetation of the vast, flat landscape. The magnificent and undisturbed flora of Etosha is unique among all the other wildlife parks in Africa. The history of the impressive Namutoni Fort dates back as far as 1851 when explorers set up camp right here next to the Namutoni Spring. The fort was completely renovated in 1983. Today, it is one of the National Park's three camps which offers overnight accommodation. This former German imperial fortress was built in 1903, but only 12 months later it was completely destroyed by 500 Owambo tribesmen. Miraculously, the soldiers were able to escape. Only a few years later, in 1906, the fort was rebuilt and was one of the most striking military reinforcement structures in the German Empire. In 1950, 
the whitewashed fort of Namutoni became a historical monument. As a reminder of its military past, each sunrise and sunset is accompanied by the sound of a bugler standing on the top of a watchtower. located in the northeastern corner of the fortress, is open to the public. It offers breathtaking views of the surrounding savannah. Behind the tall ramparts in the courtyard, several graceful Makalani palms add to the exotic yet historic atmosphere of this place. But the Namutoni camp not only contains humans, other, much smaller occupants inhabit the protected reserve. These creatures seem to have found an ideal living space within the historic fort, and the constant presence of tourists doesn't seem to disturb them. A relaxed herd of noons passes by close to the camp. Despite its magnificent size, only the southern part of the so-called Etosha Pan is open to visitors and commercial tours. Zebras are not tied to a particular territory. They migrate through the savanna. The territory of one family can overlap with that of many other herds. More than 30 waterholes not only attract wildlife, they are ideal places to sit and observe the animals. huge and mighty elephant represents another major attraction of the park. Today, an estimated 1,500 elephants roam the wide-ranging land of Etosha. Even elephant young can be observed at close quarters. An average African elephant family consists of 6 to 12 members. They are led by a matriarch, 
the oldest and most experienced of the herd. The majority of African elephants live in the savannah regions, but they can also be found in both rain and mountain forests. Social structure plays an important, if not vital, role in the lives of elephants. Rarely do they leave their herd, and it is only if food is scarce for the group that they split up in order to survive. Kosha National Park has the reputation of being one of the major wild sanctuaries for a wide variety of Africa's animal species. Seemingly never-ending dusty roads and paths provide an extensive network of routes for the jeeps that move through the unique and captivating landscape. The picturesque golden colours of nature's wildlife begin to shine under the relentlessly hot Namibian sun. Although most of the major roads in Namibia are surfaced with asphalt, the roads inside the national park often consist of loose gravel or even sand and are called pads. The desert-like Etosha Pan is the main geological attraction of the nature park, a place of timeless tranquility. A flat saline desert, 130 kilometers long by 50 kilometers at its widest in the eastern region of the park. Between March and November, just before the wet season commences, an immense number of birds gather within the pan because of its saline and mineral residues. Zebras are among the favorite prey of lions and hyenas. To protect themselves from surprise attack, two zebras stand facing each other, 
their head rests on the back of their partner. This enables them to have a perfect 360 degree view of their environment. During the dry season, zebras migrate and cover large distances in search of good pasture. They are often joined by other animals, such as gnus and various kinds of antelopes, such as springboks, gemsboks, elands and kudus. The Mopani savanna grass and bushland surrounds Etosha's salt pan. These strangely shaped Moringa trees pierce the sky, creating an eerie and mysterious ambience. Although not the park's main feature, 35 different birds of prey can be found in this truly amazing national park. Some of them are migratory birds that only come here for the summer months. Oryx antelopes are peaceful, though vigilant animals. Their long, straight horn, which is reminiscent of a sword, is an extremely useful weapon for their self-defense. Visitors to Etosha are torn between sitting quietly for hours, watching the game come and go at a single location, or moving from one waterhole to another in hope of spotting further wildlife. And there are more species. More than 2,000 giraffes have contributed to the national park's worldwide reputation of being big game land. Their main source of food are tree sprouts. They only leave the woodlands to search for water. During the greater part of the year, the animals depend on life-sustaining waterholes. Thus, they attract an amazing variety of wildlife. For the photographer, these areas are the ideal places to take a lot of memorable African wildlife pictures. many legends in Etosha, one of which concerns the formation of the mineral pan. 
Once upon a time, a village was raided, and with the exception of the women, everyone else was killed. One woman was so distraught about the death of her family that she cried so hard, her tears formed a massive lake. When the lake dried up, nothing was left apart from a huge white pan. Although elephants are known mostly for their gentle behavior, they can reach speeds of up to 45 kilometers per hour or even faster. They have huge appetites and can eat up to 500 pounds of food a day. Elephants like to take a daily bath. If the water is not deep enough to lie in, they use their trunks to treat themselves to a refreshing shower. With a little good fortune, a tour through the Etosha National Park may lead to a direct encounter with animals in the wild. During moments like these, the zebras seem to be curious and friendly. Close to the main roads, most of the animals have grown familiar to the strange visitors in their bizarre and noisy off-road vehicles. Sometimes they follow or even run alongside the jeeps, keeping the tourists company. In the southern hemisphere, observing the diverse wildlife becomes easier during the dry months. Numerous varieties of animals gather around the area of the water holes, such as these gnus and zebras. and driveways that are open to visitors cover a total length of 700 kilometers and lead to many varied points of interest. Temporary tour companions such as the springbok antelopes are frequently seen during these exciting expeditions. In one of the largest wildlife sanctuaries in the world, large herds can survive in a secure environment. For most of the animals, encounters with humans seem to be a part of everyday life. They've become used to the tourists. For visitors, on the other hand, watching these animals is an extraordinary experience.
Lions are masters in the art of slumber. They spend up to 20 or more hours of the day sleeping and dozing. This queen of beasts, as they are often called, hunt in the darkest, coolest hours of the early morning or at night. Lions are the largest of Africa's carnivores. The large, tawny cats can weigh up to 250 kilograms and reach a shoulder height of more than a meter. Unlike other cats, they live in close social units called prides and each female in a pride of four to twelve individuals is usually closely related. An adult lion's roar can be heard up to five miles away and warns off intruders or reunites scattered pride members. Usually, after a gestation period of about three and a half months, a litter of three to five cubs is born. They are born helpless and blind, with greyish spots on their fur that fade to the adult colouring when they are about three months old. behind the female lions and their cute cubs, we move on with our jeep and cut straight through the extensive beauty of the truly remarkable and exciting Etosha Nature Park. Halali is a fine and modern rest camp, shaded by several Mopani trees. Its name derives from the German tradition of blowing a hunting bugle to signify the end of a hunt. Close to the Halali rest camp is an interesting area of dolomite outcrops that stand out from the otherwise flat landscape. so-called Fisher's Pan, located not far from the camp at Namutoni, is well known for its excellent and wide variety of different bird species, among them also Namibia's national bird, the crimson-breasted shrike. During the rainy season, thousands of flamingos gather here. Originally covering a much larger area of nearly a hundred thousand square kilometers, the Etosha National Park was founded in 1907 by the German governor of Southwest Africa, General von Lindequist. Although the size of the area decreased over the years, 
it is still one of the largest wildlife sanctuaries in the world. Visitors can expect to see elephants, giraffes, lions and many different species of antelope. Etosha is also recognised as one of the last sanctuaries of the endangered black rhino, but sightings are few and far between. They can be best viewed at a floodlit waterhole, close to the park's third rest camp at Ocao Cuejo. Although the elephants in Etosha are considered to be the largest in Africa, and therefore the world, their tusks are relatively small. There may be genetic reasons for this. On the other hand, a lack of certain minerals in their food also prevents the further growth of their ivory tusks. Occasional dolomite outcrops surround the southeast and western borders of the park. The ecology varies greatly, and the traveller must cover the full terrain from salt pan to woodland if he is to see all the major species. The National Park was named after its heart, the massive Etosha mineral pan. Etosha, the place of dry water, is an extensive flat depression of about 5,000 square kilometers. The pan itself is believed to have originated over 12 million years ago. Today, the Etosha pan rarely contains water as it is supplied mostly by rainfall, but with high evaporation any water quickly disappears. Apart from the famous big game and a large variety of birds, there are also many smaller wildlife mammal species living in the sanctuary, such as hyenas or numerous bush rabbits, the latter belonging to the end of nature's food chain. The zebra's black and white stripes perfectly match the heavy shadows of dawn and dusk when predators are most active and therefore create a natural camouflage. Since no two zebras have identical patterns, it is thought that members of the same family recognize one another by their stripes, in addition to their scent and calls. Though the annual migration consists of herds in their thousands, all zebras live and move in one or two units, either as a stable family unit or a group of unattached young stallions.
Kudu and Oryx are known as the most beautiful and graceful species of antelopes. Their large horns give them an almost dignified, majestic appearance. Some of the waterholes in the park were created by man. These deep waterholes were added to attract more animal species to a larger variety of areas within the public part of the sanctuary. Hyenas, with their bent backs and their frightening, chilling howls that sound like wild and high-pitched laughter, are among the least popular of the park's animals. But both hyena and jackal are very successful scavengers that play an important role in the balance of nature. Around 300 lions can be found in the Etosha National Park. Considerably higher is the number of the striped news. More than 2,500 live in the widespread savanna region and normally migrate in large herds. The day slowly draws to an end leaving behind an impressive and dramatically colourful sky. Eventually, the park becomes tranquil again. Etosha is a truly unforgettable experience, especially for photographers. The words of an American trader who trekked across this land in 1876 summed up the beauty of this park thus. All the menageries in the world turned loose would not compare to the sight I saw that day. Here under Namibia's sun, the beauty of nature reveals itself in its rich, wild and wonderful splendor.